Starting with the continuous coverage of the Israel Hamas war. In the latest, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has once again said that its just war to eliminate Hamas will continue until all the goals are achieved. The IDF says there are signs that Hamas's system is falling apart as they are killing militants every day and there is a need to press even harder. Take a listen. <laughs> The IDF says it deepened the fighting in the Khan Yunus area on Saturday. Israel has ordered more evacuations in the city as of now. While well, the IDF also claims to have eliminated many militants in parts of northern Gaza where the forces reportedly located underground shafts and weapons. The Israeli army has released a video showing street fighting in northern Gaza's Jabalia. It said that the Israeli troops launched a targeted strike on structures where Hamas militants took positions and that many militants were killed in the fighting. In another video that has been released by the IDF, it alleged that Hamas militants, they were beating civilians and stole the humanitarian aid they received from international organizations that was facilitated by Israel. On the other hand, Hamas has released footage showing fighting with Israeli army in Gaza. The video appears to show militants using rocket-propelled grenades to attack armored vehicles. The IDF says five of its soldiers died fighting Hamas in the last 24 hours. Ex-IDF chief Gadi Eisenkort's nephew has also been killed in Gaza fighting and this day after his son was killed. Meanwhile, the IDF has also announced the death of a hostage at the hands of Hamas. נציגי צה"ל התקנו הערב את משפחתו של האזרח סער ברוך, זיכרונו לברכה, אשר נחטף ב-7 באוקטובר. סער נרצח בידי ארגון הטרור חמאס. אנחנו עדיין מאמתים ומתחקרים את הפרטים באשר למקום הירצחו. Thousands of demonstrators rallied in Tel Aviv on Saturday calling for Gaza hostages to be freed. And these included the relatives of hostages who are still in captivity and those who have been released. In risks of a war spillover, Yemen's Houthis say that they will target ships in Red Sea Air en route Israel. Unless the Gaza Strip receives the food and medicine it needs.